Today I'm going to make a short video of just a Bluetooth software. I'm not going to go in depth about uh, everything you can do with Bluetooth. You probably already know that. If your laptop came with Bluetooth built in, it's probably working proper. But if you bought a Bluetooth dongle and you let Windows install the software for you that's built into it for Bluetooth, uh, then it may or may not work right. But if you're having some kind of problem with it, the first thing you need to do is go to start and type in device and go to device manager. Now Windows XP you just go to click on my computer and go to uh, system information and go to hardware etc to go to device manager. As you can see I got the Bluetooth icon right here and it's got both of them in there, the radio and the enumerator. But uh, if you don't see Bluetooth here, then you haven't got a driver installed. And if you do and it seems not to be working right, just click on your Bluetooth radio and right click and go to properties. Well, that didn't work out. Let's go here. Not there, but here. You have to open it up. Right click on this one and go to properties. And go to your driver. First you can see driver. Then you can see the details of the driver. Make sure it says generic Bluetooth radio. Not F-S-Q-U-R-I-T. If, if it says that, then that's a system file. And if it's not working, that would be the reason. So go back to driver. Tell it to update the driver. And once it's update, say OK and get out of there and try it again. If that don't work, if that does not do what you want it to do, then you need to go to this website right here. Just type in your address bar or copy and paste this, bluetoothinstaller.com. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to take you there. Uh, if I haven't already got it on there, well, I'll just go here. I'll just put it in there. And I'm going to paste it and go to it. And you'll come to this page right here, Bluetooth Driver Installer. And when you go to these here, it shows you the stages of installing it. You can read all that. Just scroll down to you see this area right here at download they got the 32-bit version and the 64 whichever your OS is download both of them you might need one or the other later or somebody else might need a 64 so go ahead and download them when you click on it will straight download to you they are free drivers for you for Bluetooth and that's where you get it at Bluetooth installer Dot com and so I'll get out of here and like I said I'm gonna make it short I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of depth but once you do then after you get your icon down here in your little it may come up in your box right here I, I moved mine down to the taskbar and you should be able to install just like I did my phone and my laptop and I can send or, or receive files for it so uh, that should help you get the software that you need. Just install that. And once you've installed that, that should take care of your problems. If it doesn't, leave me a comment. I will help you any way I can to get your Bluetooth running. Because uh, sharing the files over computers and, and off your phone to your computer, from your computer up to your phone, you might want to make you some short ringtones and send to your phone like I did. So I hope this helps a lot. So uh, leave me some comments. And any way I can help you, let me know. Subscribe if you like. Thank you. This is Shenandoah signing off.